morning dear children as uh, we have completed uh, last time uh, i mean to say gravitation along with the ncert exercise dear children now we have the last unit for your course this year that is work energy and power work and energy this is the name of chapter dear children work and energy we are going to learn about the work as well as energy in detail first of all today we are discussing about the work what is work we will denote it by w all right first thing suppose that if you are standing on the ground from morning to evening there is zero work done according to physics dear children but according to daily conversation there may be some work done if you are lifting a bag up and down up and down work done will be zero but uh, other way in general life you will say we have tired at last when you are doing so but according to physics what is the work dear children let's see i will give you the example let's suppose that this is a straight path and uh, there is an object dear children i will take an object let this is the object let this is the object dear children okay some force you have applied on the object let's see some force which is applied on the object let that force is f suppose that object displaced up to this position dear children let this is position a this is position b okay and displacement from a to b dear children that will be suppose that s we can say work is said to be done work is said to be done if an external force external force acting on the body on the body and body get displaced gets displaced along the direction of applied force along the direction of applied force this is the condition dear children which you have to keep in mind first thing we need the external force in order to do do the work second thing we need displacement of this particular body if there is no displacement of the particular body dear children then no work would be there if no external force is acting on the body no work done will be there these are the prior things which is very very important third thing is the direction dear children direction is also important thing here direction play the big role in which direction force and displacement are that is important direction of force and displacement both s is the displacement here dear children s is the displacement be careful okay f is the external force acting on the body according to the concept this is the work done dear children okay for example if i take the example from ncert if you see this example dear children carefully for example when you see this diagram dear children what will happen just see if you see carefully initially position of the car suppose that at this point it is at this point and finally it is moving somewhere like that it has certain displacement who is applying the force that girl is applying the force through the string dear children that is the external force 
if this toy car is moving it means work is set to be done work is set to be done on the car okay dear, dear children that is very very important thing which you have to remember now how to measure the work done what is work done mathematically mathematically we can say work done in nothing that is force and displacement product of force and displacement and direction product of force and displacement and direction is also important dear children along with the direction force and displacement okay i mean to say if object is moving it has some force applied on it and suppose that it get displaced by displacement s that is the work done dear children simply okay SI unit of work done dear children that is joule okay and cgs system its unit is arch okay one joule having 10 raised to power 7 arch remember this thing this is the relation okay this is the mathematical formula dear children to understand the work done now you have types of work done types of work done case number what dear children you have to remember if suppose that object is over there and you are applying the force and object get displaced in the direction of applied force i mean to say direction of force and displacement they are in same direction force and displacement then work done is said to be positive work done force into displacement dear children remember actually we need here cosine of angle for future but it is not in the 9th standard you will learn the trigonometry in 10th standard that's when only to do this you only remember when they are in same direction okay positive work will be done this is called positive work all right everybody now second case dear children suppose that force is applied in this direction and displacement in opposite direction dear children okay uh, i can say if displacement in this direction and force will be this direction this is the frictional force you know friction always friction force always oppose the displacement of the body both are in opposite direction if they are in opposite direction i mean to say if angle is 180 degree over here between force and displacement obviously that will be the negative work remember this thing so when force and displacement are in opposite direction work done will be negative okay when force and displacement are in opposite direction opposite direction dear children then work done will be negative be careful for example work done by the friction work done by the friction is always negative okay now third case that is zero work done what do you mean by zero work done dear children if suppose that this is the object and displacement in forward direction and force is perpendicular to the displacement just like the weight weight is mg which is acting in downward direction displaced in forward direction then how much angle is there angle is 90 degree dear children when force is perpendicular to displacement work done will be zero joule remember this thing this is the prior condition which you have to remember when force and displacement are perpendicular direction then work done will be zero there are some other examples of zero work done also dear children suppose that this is the wall of your house wall of your house you are just pushing the ball by applying some force you know at this point of uh, wall force is applied this point is not displacement it means wall displacement is zero if displacement is zero what is the work done force into displacement that is zero work done will be zero joule if displacement is zero work done will be zero dear children for example if a stone is lying on the roof of a 
stone is lying on the table, you can say, what is the work done? Work done will be zero because no external force is acting on the body. That's why work done will be zero joule, dear children. One more example to understand the zero work done, dear children. If suppose that you are throwing the stone, it is going up and then coming back on the same place. What about the displacement? That will be zero. It means work done is again zero joule. Similarly, when you are talking about the circular motion, dear children, in circular motion, basically force is always towards the center. This is called centripetal force. And velocity is always perpendicular. It means displacement is also perpendicular. Okay. Again, work done will be zero here. But remember, in planetary motion, work done by the planet in a circular path will be zero. Anything which is revolving in a circular path, work done will be zero. Anything which is uh, regaining its original position again, displacement is zero. That's why work done will be zero. So these are few examples, dear children, you have to remember. Okay. For example, this is the example of circular motion planets. Planets revolve around the sun in circular path. That point of time work done will be zero. Okay. So these are the things, dear children, you have to remember regarding the work done, positive, negative, and zero work done. Let me discuss about uh, NCRT's question. Okay. I'll take some questions from NCRT. Just wait for a minute. Yeah, some question from the middle. We can discuss dear children here. Just like this example, okay, you can solve this for yourself. Is an, uh, there is a question, unsolved question. I will take this question on the screen so that you can easily understand this dear children. Okay, this is the question based on the basic definition of force. Let me put on the screen this question. Yeah, this is the question dear children. Just see over here. You see the question. A force 7 Newton, you can see over here, dear children. A force 7 Newton is acting on the body, and body gets displaced by 8 meter in the direction of applied force. Let's take that the force act on the object through the displacement. Okay. What is the work done in this case? Work done will be positive. So, positive work done is F into S, dear children. Work done will be how much is the force acting on it? That is 7 Newton. How much is the displacement? That is 8 Newton. 56 Joule is the answer of this question. This is positive work done because force acting on the body as well as direction of displacement, they are in the same direction. Be careful about it. Okay, children. By the same manner, there are some questions uh, here also. You can try them. So there are the unsolved question. I will already discuss it. Okay, I will put on the screen all this question once. Just see. Just check this question. Based on the work done, concept of work done, dear children. Okay, one by one. When do we say that work is done? This is basic definition, dear children, you can apply. Work is said to be done when force is acting on the body and body get displaced. Okay, write an expression of work done on the force is acting on the object in the direction of displacement. Formula will be force into displacement. This is the expression. Now, define one joule of work, of course. What is work done? That is, dear children, uh, force into displacement. If you want to define any unit, you must write one one each, one joule, force is one newton, when displacement is one meter. We can say work done is said to be one joule, one joule, if one newton force is acting on the body, On the body and body get displaced body get displaced 
by one meters. Okay, so this is the thing you have to remember, dear children. After that, we have a pair of bullocks exert a force for 140 Newton on a plow. The field being plowed 15 meter long. How much work is done plowing the length of the field? You can say work done is force into displacement. What is force? 140 Newton and displacement is 15. Okay, you can write 0, 15, 4, 66, 2100 Jude is the work done to plow the field. So this is the simple way to understand the concept of work done. Even I will tell you some exercise question also. Uh, oh, sorry. Exercise question I am going to discuss here. Okay, there are good question in exercise even. I will select right now. Test of the chapter in next lecture you will get. That is energy, potential and kinetic energy. As well as law of conservation of energy and power. Okay, let me tell you. This is the question, dear children, where you need to, one important question I seen, yeah, this question, we can do it right now. This is the question, you just tell nature of the work done over here, dear children, nature of the work done. Let me tell you. Okay, just see in this question, dear children, I just make it small. You can do, no problem. See, in which of the following force acting on the object of mass m, direction of displacement from west to east, shown by the longer arrow. Observe the diagram carefully, state whether work done by the positive, negative, or zero. What is the work done in first year children? This is the direction of displacement according to question. If displacement and force are perpendicular to each other, work done will be zero. Joule. If they are in the same direction, work done will be positive. If they are in the opposite direction, obviously work done will be negative. Okay, children. These are the basic things which you have to remember for the upcoming future regarding the work done. Go through the NCRT once again. And you have some examples over there. You can solve them. Okay. So that is the main thing which you have to remember here. Thank you, everybody. Thanks a lot.